Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon. I'm not sure which time of day you're watching this, but it's morning time for me. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're here. My name's Leslie, if you're new, and I'm glad you're here. And if you're back, welcome back. Okay, so today's video, we're going to pick up uh, where I was preparing for Jamie's birthday family gathering. We had steak, salad, baked potatoes, and I made his cranberry oatmeal cookies. That was on yesterday's video, so be sure to go check those out. It is so funny. He loved those cookies, and at 6 a.m., this is the day after his birthday celebration, <clears throat> this morning at like 6.30 a.m., there was a knock at our door, and it was Jamie, and he was coming to get the rest of the cookies, and I got him a bag, and he took all the rest of the cookies, so... Um, he loves those cookies. So, okay. So we're going to go through just a little bit of that. I didn't film us eating, but anyway, and we're going to end up having something that I'm hearing and understanding is a huge Southern thing. And I have never had it. I have never fixed it. I, my mama never fed it to me. So, we're going to find out what this is all about and um, give it a try today. So be interested in that upcoming. I mean, it's at the end of this video. So, yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. I am the Farm and Pastor's Wife. If you're new, welcome you're in my kitchen right now down on our farm my husband and i own uh, a poultry farm a commercial poultry farm farm and a cow calf operation so we are busy all the time tonight we are getting ready for our son-in-law's birthday party here's my husband the if grill, you haven't met him yet the grill master himself this is the farming pastor yep <laughs> if i refer to him as pb or bryant that's who I'm talking about. But he has got the grill going. We're doing steak, salad, baked potatoes. My son-in-law requested uh, cranberry cookies. So if you missed that recipe, go back to yesterday's uh, video. My It's the first fall recipe of the year. It is our cranberry oatmeal cookies, and they are so good. I've got baked potatoes in the oven. They're fixing to come out. It is hot in here and um bread's fixing to go in so we are ready we're ready for this evening and i don't know what this video holds but i'm gonna bring you guys along for it no matter what's in it so stay tuned the key to a good steak is preparation okay here's what we've got we've got some uh, sirloin steaks right there see that clearance tag manager special yes i'm cheap these here are some inexpensive uh, what's called shoulder steak um, they are not always the best quality cut because sometimes you see that little uh, streak of fat right there um, you can see it right there um, sometimes they may be a little tougher than uh, the other steaks uh, but what we're going to do tonight is uh, the birthday boy definitely will get a sirloin and uh, we will all settle in for the rest of it it's going to be good you'll hear nobody argue about any of that here's my four seasonings that i use on my steaks first uh, lowry seasoning salt you can't go wrong with that just don't overdo it uh, granulated garlic, a little bit of dash of garlic helps it. Celery salt right here. This is a key go-to right there. Uh, celery salt, I enjoy that. Gives a good little twist on the flavor. Don't overdo it. And of course, black pepper. I like that. See that restaurant grind black pepper? It is a little thicker, okay? It's a little thicker, a little coarser, okay? Uh, look right here what's coming out of the oven. The baked potatoes, okay? They are huge. And uh, hey, look, let me guys, let me show you this right here. This was on another video, I think maybe yesterday's video, which was actually today. Look there. Oatmeal cranberry. 
cookies. So uh, there's the farming pastor's wife over there helping me out. And so getting ready to get these steaks. I, what I do is I season one side, and then when I put them on, I season the other side while they're on the grill, okay? And then I go ahead and melt some butter, and when I bring them in, I, I, I slather them down with uh, melted butter and let them rest for about two minutes before we serve them. So, so does right. that mean you need butter out of the refrigerator? That's what it means. All right, see you guys shortly. What you got going on? Well, here we are, the final seasoning before they go hit the grill. Put a little dash of little pepper on it right here. We're gonna go fire it up. And listen, I fire my grill up and I get it to 600 degrees for 10 minutes before I put any steaks on it. That way you get a good char. So let's go. Good and hot. Throw these puppies on the grill. All right. Everything was absolutely delicious. We only have a couple steaks left. Now we do have plenty of potatoes left, but that's because the majority of us are trying to stay away from carbs. And we had a good salad. Oh, everything was delicious. There's not much left. Yep. Hear the kids in the background whining, don't they? They're having fun. Had a great birthday celebration for Jamie, right? Yep. We need okay, Jess is going to tell us how it was. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Steak was perfectly seasoned. Potatoes. I didn't have one, but I did have a little bit of the burnt bread. The burnt, burnt bread. <laughs> <laughs> burnt bread. <laughs> okay. okay. All, right, the, the, all right, let me get your... Is that burnt bread or is that just just, just crispy crispy bread? I yep. said I got it out in the nick of time. <laughs> yeah, hey, right in the nick of time. Tell them what my grandma used to say. If you burnt the bread, his grandma would say you were mad at somebody, yes. and that's why you burnt the bread. That's what so. she'd say. The old wives tell. Right? I don't think I'm mad at anybody. Well, hey, there's Jamie. Ask him about the cookies. Jamie, how was the cookies? Delicious. Delicious. I've had five. He said. <laughs> he said five. He could, he could probably eat five more, and it wouldn't bother him. He has high metabolism. <laughs> well, good morning. I always check to make sure my mic's on. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. We didn't get a lot filmed last night. We were just we had a good time eating supper. It was delicious, and then. Um, in our house, we only have one bathroom. So, and thank goodness everybody lives close. So somebody was in the bathroom and um, care other people had to go home. And then Bryant and I and everybody else that was left went to look at a project Bryant and I are working on. And so we went there. And then when we came back, everybody kind of left. Caroline had to go home and get ready for her Bible study that she did on live last night. And... So it was a just a hectic night. So we didn't get a lot filmed. So I wanted to come back this morning, first of all, and tell you how delicious our supper was. It was so good. And it's always good for our family to be together. I love it so very much. But I'm going to make something this morning that I have never made. And it is a southern staple. Like, I don't know how I've never had this. When I say I am Southern, I am very, very, very Southern. And I don't mean just Southern. I mean country Southern. Like I live out in the boonies, out in, and this dish right here, I understand is a absolute, an absolute Southern staple. And, and that doesn't mean that it's not done in other parts of the country. It's not cooked up North or wherever, but it is very much cooked down here. And um, I've never had it. How in the world was I raised by my mama and never had this? I don't understand. But we're going to try it today. I don't know that I'm going to like it. But I, we're going to try it today. We, are, I, we went to the auction the other day and I sat beside a friend of mine. And she was telling me her mama made it all the time. And I was like, how have I never ever had this so let me tell you what we're making we're making biscuits and chocolate gravy okay so now y'all i know i can make biscuits i make biscuits left and right in fact this video is not even going to be about the biscuits i have several biscuit videos out there i have the formula l which is southern biscuit mix that's only found usually around down here i have um a video on my two ingredient biscuits which anybody can make it's delicious it's wonderful and i think i have a video on just regular putting together everything and making biscuits um 
So uh, I can make a biscuit like nobody's business. However, I always roll mine out and cut them out with a biscuit cutter. I never patty them by hand or drop biscuits. I just don't ever do that. Well, this morning I did. So let me just go ahead and warn you, since I never, ever, ever do that, I know these biscuits are not going to be pretty, but it's okay. They're not going to, it's not about the biscuits today. It's about the chocolate gravy. So I'm going to get over here, get you turned down where you can see what I'm doing. And uh, we're going to get started. I'm in the process of cleaning from last night. So if you hear the dishwasher, plus my oven always has a fan that goes on. So it may be a little loud in here and I'm sorry. It, I've got long sleeves on today because we. it is a cool morning. It, it'll warm up today, but it's a cool morning right now. And I have most of my windows open. Let me open this one. I have fall ambiance scenery on the YouTube and some light classical music playing. It's just a wonderful day. Absolutely wonderful day. And I wanted to wear long sleeves. Whether I'm hot or not, I wanted to wear long sleeves. Okay, so the first thing I'm going in with is three-fourths cup of sugar. Three-fourths cup of sugar. A fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. Three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I need... I need just a pinch. Let's see. There we go. Just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to give that a whisk with my whisk. This bowl is loud. I apologize. All right. And so to this, I'm going to add, in fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and just add it to my saucepan. We're going to just go ahead into the saucepan with this mixture. That will make that easier to clean. And so to this, we're going in with two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the stove on a medium high heat. And I'm going to stir it constantly until it becomes thick, kind of like my sausage gravy would. Um, so I will bring you back at that stage. I'm just going to stand right there with it on medium high heat, whisking the whole time. And when we get to that thickness, I will bring you guys right back. Okay, everyone. I believe this is the consistency we're looking for, like a nice gravy consistency. Um, so all we're waiting for now is the biscuits and the men to come back from the chicken houses. So I may have to reheat this. Um, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little earlier than what I had anticipated. So I'm going to call them see how far out they are. The biscuits won't be much longer. I've called the fellas. I've called, uh, I think it's just Bryant and Daniel working today. So I've called them and said, when you're done at the chicken houses, you need to come in. So they will be dirty. They'll be stinky. You can't smell them, but I can. They'll be dirty, but that's okay. They'll wash their hands and they're going to taste this. But I got to do one more thing or really two more things to this gravy before we're ready. What I want to do is it's good and hot. So I want to add in a tablespoon of butter. Let's get a little more. This just gives it a good silkiness and we're going to add in about a tablespoon of vanilla and hopefully it hasn't cooled off too much that that butter doesn't melt but i'm probably going to have to heat it up anyway but that butter melting in is just going to give it a silky beautifulness and deliciousness and just the salt in the butter is just going to make the flavor more in depth so yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're just waiting on them to show up. They said they'd be here in about 10 minutes. I'll probably have to heat this up, but that's okay. All right, the biscuits are, I'm still waiting on the biscuits. They're almost done. Remember, they're not going to be pretty. There are the biscuits.
Well, the guys aren't going to get to come home. So it looks like I'm stuck doing this taste test. So we're going to see. I left the, the biscuits are gotten kind of cold because we had to run out for a minute. But we're going to give this a try. This southern staple that I've never had. Well, the chocolate is absolutely delicious. Not sure how I feel about it being with a biscuit. But definitely different. <coughs> Pretty good. The chocolate is really good. So my question is, is my mic on? And was this a breakfast item? Was, I mean, how was this served? I'm very intrigued by this. So it is really, really good because you got that salty sweet plus that salty chocolate thing going on. Um, yeah. How have I never had this? So, and I'm interested, is this done in other parts of the country or is it a completely Southern thing? Is, is this, you know, is it East Coast, West Coast? You know, what is this? So, y'all leave me in the comments your history or your take on chocolate gravy and biscuits. Um, it's, it's, I, I'm just curious, is this a dessert item or is it a breakfast item or what the chocolate oh my goodness it is so good the biscuits are so good and they're really good together so i just don't know how it how you would serve this is it would i serve it as breakfast or would i serve it as a dessert so y'all let me know if you if only let me know if you are a connoisseur of chocolate gravy and biscuits and you know exactly the history behind it or how your mama served it or whatnot so okay so well that's the end of this video. I know it was an odd one because we started out at Jamie's get together and uh, ended up with biscuits and chocolate gravy. So, all right, I will see you guys next time. Remember next week, now we'll have, we'll have couch time and, and, and weekend wrap up on Sunday, but next week we start our fall recipes. Um, the beginning of the week may be a little tricky because we're selling chickens. Actually, yeah, I don't know how next week is going to work because we sell chickens and um, I have the fellowship meal at church. So, yeah, I'm not sure how next week's going to turn out, but we will see. All right, I will see you guys next time on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.